So now that we've dug in a little bit more with our UI elements, uh, we're starting to interact with them a lot more. So as you can see with that switch, we had the on off actions, what, what was happening when you turned on, what's happening when you turn it off. Well, another UI element called the UI stepper allows you to step up one uh, a certain amount of values at a time and step down a certain amount of values at a time. So if we open up our documentation, you'll see right here we have steppers. Um, and the way I got to this guide is if you look for a UI stepper within your documentation and then you go to more information about appearance and behaviors, you can click on that steppers guide and I, I'd highly recommend going through that. It'll help with your understanding of steppers and uh, what you can do with them. Um, so right here we have what our stepper is going to look like. So we have a, a minus and a plus sign and this allows you to either go up in value or go down in value. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll create a UI stepper here. And to do that, uh, we'll create a stepper variable. So stepper, and we'll go ahead and create that variable right there. And we're gonna add some properties to this. So if you go back to this UI stepper, you'll see that we can add a couple of things here. We can add a minimum value. Uh, so I'll go ahead and I'll add a minimum value and I'll set that to zero and then of course we can add a maximum value. Let's go ahead and copy that as well. So maximum value and I'll set that to 10. So that's as high as it can go. Then we have the step value. So how how much does this step up by? So we're gonna set that to one. So every time you go up, so you every time you press the plus button that is so every time you press this button, you're gonna go up by one. Every time you press the minus button, you're gonna decrease by one. So that's what that step value is. And let's see if we go back, we can set the value as well. So this is what we want it to start off at. So we'll set that stepper value to zero. So we're gonna start it at zero. And then we're gonna set the stepper frame here uh, where we want it to be placed on our view. So we're gonna be 20. Um, by 200 and then that will be 30 by 30. Okay, that's good enough. And of course, we have to add this to our sub view. So add this stepper to our sub view and then we'll save it. Now let's go ahead and check this out within our simulator. Okay, so if we, oops, if we click on that, what happened here? So minimum value, nil. Okay, so let me read that real quick. Undefined method, minimum value. And that's because I entered S for steppers and when I should have not had that S in there. So now that that all matches up, let's try this one more time. Should work. Okay and we have that stepper in there. Great, so we can click on those. Doesn't do anything at the moment uh, that you can see. So this is going up in value every time we click it. And you'll notice that I probably got to value 10 or the maximum value. It's not allowing me to click it anymore. If I click on the minus, it'll allow me to click and then it'll just pause. And that's probably because we got to zero and plus will be active again. All right, so that's pretty cool. Now what we wanna do is we wanna display what the value is. So to do that, let's go ahead and let's create or let's let's pass this stepper value let's allow it to go up to our view controller here and we're going to add a target just like we did with the button okay so instead of it being switch we want it to be stepper and then we're on every time we click on it we want it to um, show the value within the label the text label that we're going to put on the screen so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the stepper value. And when we call that action, we gotta make sure that action is there. And what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna put the value of that stepper label. So view stepper.value. And we're gonna put that into um, our REPL over here. So. Let me go ahead and stop that, rebuild it, and let's see if that works. So I got the target set up, 
got it to that action. It should work. Let's see. All right, so we'll see that it's going up. And once we hit 10, it doesn't allow us to do anything. Now we can go back down all the way to zero. It doesn't do anything and then back up. So you can go ahead and interact with that. So that's pretty cool. So now that we've got that going through, um, we want to set a label up on this right hand side. So let's go back to our view and let's call this a stepper label. And what we're going to do is create a label, make that a new label, stepper label, and this will be the text. Since we're starting the value off at zero here, what we want to do is start the value off at zero here as well. So stepper uh, label, we want the text color. I want to make sure that it will be a UI black color. UI color, black color. So we'll make sure that is set. And then we will make sure that it appears to the right of our stepper. So let's do 20 by 200. And then we're going to do 30 by 30. Actually, let's move this over a bit. So 100 by 200. And then let's add the sub view with the stepper label. Okay, we want to make sure that we can interact with that stepper label as well. So we'll put that into our adder accessor. Great, so this should show up now. Um, it's not going to change anything yet, but we want to make sure that that label is there. Okay, great. So let's, ooh, not starting, not seeing. Ah, I know why. Okay, so you'll notice that it's on an unrecognized selector sent to the instance. And we need to make sure that this is a string. So that string, so if you if you check that out, if you go to UI label text, it needs to be an NS string. Okay. And so this should now work. If we do rake, we should see that label. Ah, okay, I do need to move that over a little bit. So maybe 150 would do good. And and we'll go ahead and just exit out of this for now. Go back into our second view controller. And along with put S and having that value appear within our, our REPL, let's go ahead and have it appear on our, our label itself. So to do that, we need to grab the label. So we got the stepper value and we're gonna put it in text. And now, just like I mentioned a little while ago, it needs to be in a string. So you need to go ahead and put that in a um, in a double quotes. And then using Ruby's interpolation, you can go ahead and put the view stepper dot value into our uh, stepper value dot text. So we'll go ahead and we'll call rake again and that'll rebuild. And so this should work. So along with uh, placing the value within the REPL, we're gonna go ahead and uh, see that on our value. So we got this to the right, that's working well, and it's not allowing us to do it. So let's see why. So undefined method stepper value. So view stepper value text. Ah, so this should be stepper label. Stepper label that text. Run rake again, and let's see. This should work. Add to do. Ah, awesome. So it's going up in value, and we're seeing it's a bit cut off there. So what we could do is, is actually get the label, and we can reset the frame here. So if we do a self.frame, we will see the size, so we have the the width and the height. Let's go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. So if we have self dot frame, and let's do width, see what that gives us. Actually, self dot frame, and let's just redo this. 
entirely. So we have it by 150, by 200, and then we have, let's give this 60 by 30. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do for our frame. That worked out well, so let's pull that back into our code and just paste that in there. Okay, that's gonna work out great next time around. And so just for example's sake, just to show that that changes took effect and that it is now working as it should, we're gonna go ahead and test this out. Awesome, going all the way up to 10, then going all the way back down to zero. Okay, cool, so we've set up our UI stepper. I think in the next video we should go over the UI slider and uh, go ahead and show the values for that as well. So, see you in the next video.